so let's now we'll do the same situation, the same um, idea, long run equilibrium model, but with some um, cost functions and, and, and then uh, demand, um, demand equation. So here we have a to uh, total cost function, uh, kind of similar to the one we've been using. And we also have information about the market side, the demand. And then we also know uh, the number of firms. We'll start by assuming that we also know how many firms are in the market. So this is exactly the, the same thing that we're talking about, right? The total cost uh, function is for the typical firm. So that's uh, the left-hand side diagram, right? When we were talking about firm and then the market. So um, the, the P, the demand, is this side of the market. And then the total cost is going to give you the marginal cost function, which uh, when you know the number of firms, you should be able to have the, the supply curve for the whole market, right? So this, these two equations here give you all the information we need. So our goal here is to find the, uh, the market quantity, the uh, firm quantity, and also the price, the market price, which is also the, the price that the firm uses. So unfortunately, we, can, um, we don't know that yet, because as you, know, as you see, we have one, two, uh, three unknowns and two equations. So uh, we need one more equation, but we know that uh, if the firm maximizes profits, then we know that the firm, the marginal cost, which is going to be uh, 10 plus 10Q, is going to be equal to the price, which is uh, 100 minus 2Q. Um, so now we have a, another equation here, but um, let's see how we're doing here in terms of equations and unknowns. We have TC1, Q2, big Q, 3, four uh, variables and three equations, so that's still not enough, so we need another equation. And that equation we can get it from the number of firms, because we know that the number of firms at any time is going to be equal to, well, the market quantity, and then since all firms are identical, each firm quantity, and that will give you the number of firms, and we know that. That's F is actually known. It's actually 50. So now we have our four equations. We have one here, we have two here, we have three here, and we have four here, and we have uh, four unknowns, P, Q, small q, and TC. So we can, this is a system we can solve now for these variables that we have, we have been looking for. So let's begin by replacing uh, number four into, um, into number three here, right? And that simply takes uh, um, a replacing that. With the easiest way to do that is to solve this uh, F equation for Q. So Q is going to be equal to 150 big Q. And now we can take this Q and put it into the, uh, into the marginal cost equation, this one right here. Right? So that will be 10 plus uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 big Q. And that's going to be equal to 100 minus 2 Q. Now, this is whole thing is, is in terms of big Q, so now we can solve for big Q. Big Q equals uh, 41. And now we can tie a big Q and put it into the price equation to find the actual price. With the actual price, it's going to be $18, about $18. Okay, so, um, so we found what we had set up to do, and then we, we can also find small Q, right? Small Q is going to be equal to 1 over 50 uh, times uh, 41 which is going to be equal to 0 0.8. All right, so we found what we have set out to do. Now, the, uh, the final question here is, is this is a long-term or a short-term equilibrium? Well, uh, the only way we can find that out is we know if the typical firm, well, actually, there's two ways. If we can find out what the number of firms are going to be in long-run equilibrium, but another short way of finding whether you're in short-run or long-run is to, is to find out whether the typical firm is making profits. And that means whether P equals ATC, or whether, whether it's not. Uh, so we can try to find that out pretty easily, because we know that ATC is going to be equal to uh, TC divided by Q, which is going to be equal to 100 over Q plus 10 plus 5Q. And we, all, we already know Q, so if we replace um, Q for, uh, in, uh, for 41 in this equation, we find out that the average total cost is 139, which is way higher than 18. So the typical firm here is actually having huge losses equals to, at least per unit, 
equals to 139, uh, I'm sorry, 18 minus 139. So this cannot be a long run equilibrium because a typical firm is having losses. So what is the long run equilibrium? What will be the number of firms and the output and the price in the long run equilibrium? Let's do that in our next video.